President Obama saying today it's going to get fixed. He spoke out for the first time about the botched rollout of his administration's online health insurance exchanges that started three weeks ago. Surrounding himself at the White House with people who have successfully signed up for the new health care plans, the president vowed to get the glitches repaired. It's a big fixer-upper. Thousands of Americans are still unable to sign up for a new insurance plan because of lost information, long waits, and error messages. So can the problems be fixed, and will enough Americans be able to sign up for the new plans? Bertha Coombs joins us now with more. So Bertha, first time that the president's saying, this is a mess. Really, it is. It's a very big shift in tone from what we've heard the last couple of weeks. President Obama defended his signature health plan in the Rose Garden today, saying almost 20 million people have logged on to healthcare.gov. Hundreds of thousands have been able to register to try to shop for their insurance. But for the first time, he called the troubled launch unacceptable and said the administration is ramping up its efforts to get it fixed. President Obama leading a new offensive from the White House, trying to assure Americans his administration is focused on fixing the technology problems that have plagued the federal health insurance website, healthcare.gov. There's no sugarcoating it. The website has been too slow. People have been getting stuck during the application process. And I think it's fair to say that nobody's more frustrated by that than I am. Because, precisely because the product is good. The president said a team of experts has been called in to lead a so-called tech surge to speed up a fix and that he is now demanding action. Nobody's madder than me about the fact that the website isn't working as well as it should, which means it's going to get fixed. While the administration says the team includes outside tech experts, it did not offer any names or a timetable for a fix. One of the problems with the Obama administration launching this has been their lack of transparency. So we don't know exactly how bad it is. We don't know how long it's going to take to fix. One former government technology contractor says it could take time for the tech surge team to pinpoint a solution. The government's probably been given some initial answers by the contractors. And those, having lived through some of these situations, those are probably hypotheses. And as they go through and test those hypotheses, some are proving right and they're getting some issues resolved on the site and some are proving wrong. And the question now is, how, how wrong are they? What else is there to learn? And how quickly can they fix it? Another concession of sorts this afternoon, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius may be headed to Capitol Hill after originally saying she would not be able to testify before the House at a hearing on Thursday due to scheduling conflicts. Her staff now says they are working on a mutually agreeable time for her to appear. So you talk a lot about these tech experts coming in, but they don't know how fast they can do it. They don't know, you know, what the deadline's going to be. Now, there is this March 31st deadline that you have to be signed up or you get penalized, and that could come up very soon. So It's it actually before that. If we actually talk about the mm -hmm. timeline, if you want to be covered by January 1st, you need to sign up by early December. So a lot of folks who have been looking at this say they really get, need to get these problems in order to get online enrollment mm -hmm. rolling quickly. They have to be fixed by around Thanksgiving time to really be able oh, wow. to handle that surge. And you will actually be penalized, although this will likely get pushed back, but you actually need to sign up to allow time for your your plan to be in effect by sometime in mid-February, actually, or you get penalized because if you're not covered for three consecutive months, that's when you have to pay a penalty for every one of those months you're not covered. I tried to sign up again today. I got farther. I, quote, enrolled, but I could not go and shop for plans. I'm going to keep trying here. The president yeah. uh, eloquently expressed his frustration, even his anger. He did not express an apology, however, to people who are similarly angry to him, as he is. Uh, and no one has paid with their job yet. Will someone, will Secretary Sebelius be forced to resign? That's the uh, $2.7 trillion question, <laughs> how much we spend on health care. And there are certainly people, even on the Obama team, who are saying that somebody needs to be held accountable. Robert Gibbs among them. Somebody needs to lose their job over this. Bertha Coombs, thanks very much. I'll let you know if I get to sign on.